yo boys it's Dan welcome back to another Premier League prediction video as you can tell from the setup we have a new addition you can see there behind my right shoulder is a picture from my girlfriend for my birthday so thank you Rebecca for bringing that into our room that stands to there as well because that was going to go there along there but it was too big to there, so I put on there. It's still in the setup, though. Hopefully, it can be good there. And we've got game week 24 today. We have another guest. It is Jack. Right, guys, it is a pleasure to be back on Dan United 231's channel for another Premier League predictions, man. I think this is my third time on the on the on the channel this year. Um, yeah, big thanks to Dan as always for, uh, for getting me back on this, man, and uh, let's get through them, man, let's get through these predictions, and uh, the league, at, right at the minute, is heating up a little bit, you know, there's got, obviously, I'm a United fan, Dan's obviously the same, we're, we're closing that gap on, on, on City and Arsenal at the minute, however, as I say, I am firmly saying, uh, I don't know what your thoughts are, Dan, as I say, you can, I'm sure you can let the viewers know in your video, but for me, I, I am, I am saying, staying firmly that we're in a comfortable position for top four right now, but... It's definitely, we're not. Anytime we we've gotten to talk about, oh, we're gonna, we might, we might, you know, we're we're gonna push for the league, we drop points, you know. So nah, I'm firmly top four, but we're doing well, man. We're doing well, and as I say, City and Arsenal, Arsenal. Time recording this, Arsenal have only the, the last two games have only got a point from it, one one loss and one draw. So yeah, let's get through these predictions, man. And um, as I say the league is heating up into the last what like 16, 17 games, man. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So f yeah, he's back. And we start off with Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Now, as time now, as time of currently filming, Arsenal play Man City tonight in a big game. If, like, if Arsenal win it, they remain top. If, if, if Man City win it, they go top. So basically, and it is yeah. So actually, that, that is a big game as well. But Unai Emery returning back, well, pl play managing Ars managing against Arsenal, a club where he's managed for a few seasons. Did get did have the best of times at Arsenal, but I mean Unai Emery, it is good for him to be back going playing against Arsenal. But I'm going to say Aston Villa will not have a chance to one Arsenal in this. Fixture and Mr. Pretty King, aka Jack. What are you saying in this room? First game then is Aston Villa Arsenal. It's a half twelve kick off on uh, next Saturday. So, um, I think for this one, I can only see an Arsenal win. Obviously, at the time recording this, Aston Villa lost at City three one yesterday. So, I can only see an Arsenal win in this one, and I'm gonna go with a three mm, three one Arsenal win at this one. They're going away to, to Villa Park, um, but yeah, I expect a comp one off Arsenal win to so three one Arsenal. I'm saying. Brentford surprised Arsenal were drawing. It was outside, but yeah. Another, another, another point is dropping for Arsenal today. Well, not, 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 yeah, another point is dropped. Brentford at Brentford. Brentford are a very good team. A very good stepping side of Brentford. Like, very good stepping team of Brentford right now. I mean, I'm going to probably say, and Palace again against the team. I'm going to go. I'm going to have a one all draw this game. I think between Crystal Palace and Brighton and Brentford. Sorry, and Jack, what are you saying in this game? Brentford Palace then the first three o'clock kickoff on Saturday. I'm going to go with a draw in this one. Uh, I'm going to go with a one-all draw between Brentford and Crystal Palace. I think both teams uh, can hurt anyone on their day. They've both got players that can. That are dangerous. Brentford having a very, very good season this year, man. And in, in, in terms of, you know, they're right up there. What, what are they? I mean, seventh in the league, I think, or eighth in the league. Um, you know, along with Brighton as well. They're they're pushing for the Europa League, man. And you know what? I always say Brentford are a tough side, top match for anyone. You know, Arsenal dropped points against them the other night. There, they drew one all. So, yeah, Brentford and Palace. I, I'm going to go a one all draw on this one. A 
big game in terms of a top top half because both these teams are fairly close in the top half here. But I will say it will be for me Brighton under Bruno Deserbi are very good. Fulham under Marcus Silva very good. I could see this being one of those games where it's close, it's even, neither team will pinch it. But, I mean, I mean Fulham did beat um, Forest in the, in the last game. Mm, I mean, this is a really tough one to call. I'm going to go with goal first. I'm going to go two all draw because this, I think it will be one of those games where both teams will even if that would be an even game, I think it's a two all draw and Jack, what are you saying in this game? Brighton Fulham in this one, uh, another 3 o'clock kick off on Saturday, I'm going to go with a, but yet again, Brighton as I say, I mentioned them, just they're, they're doing well this season, they're pushing for Europa League, uh, Fulham are a little bit further behind, but they're still, you know, they're, they're, I think Fulham are what, like mid-table at the minute, but they're, they're, they're still having a very good season, now, as I say, previous seasons Fulham, you, you thought, they're a yo-yo club, they go up in the cha they go up from the championship to the Prem, then they get relegated back to the championship, back up to the Prem, you know, they're, they're basically, they were, a couple of years back, they were maybe too good for the championship, but but very, very, they're too weak for the Prem. Now, they're kind of sitting mid-table, comfortable, they've had a solid season. Um, and yeah, as I say, yet, yet again, Fulham, they play, they play good football this year, man, they're, they're a match for anyone. So, with this one, I'm going to go on a draw, and I'm going to go with one all again between Brighton and Fulham. And we move to Chelsea versus Manchester and Southampton. Yes, Southampton have parted ways with Nathan Jones after only 41, I think that's, only after 14 games in charge of Southampton, Southampton at the bottom of the Premier League. But rumours, but things are circulating that Jesse Marsh is Southampton's third manager who was sacked by Leeds not long, not long ago. But Chelsea, good West Ham. Need, need to start picking some forms from the league and they're going to fight them. Liverpool are going to pull up. 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 I mean, maybe they're going to start finding some form. Chelsea. So they're right. I think Southampton, if they have a manager and they'll have that new manager bounce, all I say to Kenneth Hanger, because look at Leeds City United when they had a caretaker. They were playing amazingly. I'm going to say Chelsea 2-1. Chelsea, I think they will just pinch it. And Jack, what are you saying in this game? Chelsea, Southampton. Obviously, Chelsea are going through a lot of issues right now in terms of, but, but like Liverpool, they're sitting definitely in a position where they don't want to be. Um, you know, they'll be lucky both City and sorry, Chelsea and Liverpool this season to get Europa League to be fair. But um, I think at the minute, Chelsea have obviously a lot of new players are testing out people like Mudrik. Enzo Fernandez, Barashiel, uh, Manueke. There's so many new players trying to jail on that squad. But uh, I think with this one, obviously, Southampton have had their struggles. Recently sacked Nathan Jones as well. I, 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 I can only see a Chelsea win in this one. I'm going to go 2-0 Chelsea against Southampton. Now we move to a game right down at the bottom. I think it's 17th the 18th. It's Everton versus Leeds United. Yes, Matt still manages the manages Leeds United. Still want to look for a manager to take over to succeed Jesse Marsh as the manager. I mean Everton, lots of them are sort of I mean but I mean I wasn't really surprised in that one like I wasn't really surprised to be fair, but Everton Everton are good. Leeds took you know, gave that a while out, but gave that a, a tough Gave that in two tough games in on Wednesday and last and the Kenneth Royal, but came out unvictorious in both of those two games. I mean Leeds looked good, Everton looked good. But I mean Everton I mean Everton will make home a fortress. They were good good we can put home players, but I'm gonna say it'll be Leeds two. It'll be Everton two, Leeds two. And it could easily be anything going that way that way and Jack what are you saying at this key game at the bottom? Everton leads then. Time recording this. It's actually Monday. Tonight, Everton play Liverpool in the Merseyside Derby. Monday Night Football. Looking forward to that one. 
But with this one, Saturday kickoff, three o'clock kickoff, Everton leads. Everton at home at Goodison. I'm going to go for an Everton win this one. I'm going to say 1-0. Uh, 1-0 Everton again. Like they beat Arsenal last week, I'm going to go with 1-0 Everton. I can see a bit of a resurgence under Sean Dyche. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go 1-0 Everton over Leeds in this one. As of when they played this game on Saturday, and Forest lost to lost to Fulham, but they do make that count at City Ground a fortress. Though they do make it a fortress, and I'm going to say it will be. Honestly, I have no clue. You you just you'd expect Man City to win this game, but look, what Forest the Forest have had some big scalps at that ground. They have taken. Liverpool, well, they have taken they have, they have taken Liverpool for Johnny and they have had the world, but I'm gonna say Man City will beat it four nil to Manchester City. And Jack, what are you saying in this game? Not in Forest City. Keep this short and sweet. I can't see. I mean, City are away. I can't see any. Anything other than a, than a City win in this one. Um, I went to the City ground against Nottingham Forest. I'm going to go 3-0 City. Can't see anything else really, man. You know, Forest are a team fighting for survival. Um, City are, you know, they're fighting for a league. So, yeah, it should be a routine enough win for this away, away at Nottingham Forest for Man City, man. So, 3-0 me for, for City is my prediction in this one. Another game right down at the bottom of the Premier League. This is 16th versus like 15th, I think. Still two teams that are still down there. I think Wolves are seventh. I think Wolves are in that. I think Wolves are down in that relegation fight. Under Ju Yunukatagi, they're playing. Under Yunukatagi, they're playing. Sorry, they are playing good on the look at the moment. Bournemouth, they're also playing good as well. I'm going to say it will be Wolves 2, Bournemouth 1. 2 on wins of Wolves. Because oh, they want to they wanna, they wanna, they wanna take themselves out of the way. And Jack, what are you saying in this game, buddy? Wolves Bournemouth then. I'm going to go with a draw again. Uh, and I'm going to go with a one all draw again. Not a one all draw in this match week, but. Uh, yeah, I just think there's a lot of teams that are evenly matched playing this weekend. Uh, this weekend, so yeah, for me in this one, Wolves Bournemouth, short and sweet again, one all draw on that one. Newcastle United versus Les Liverpool. Yes, Newcastle are currently in fourth. As they can conclude, they have so just like succumbed, succumbed, succumbed to Manchester United. Dominance over the last few games. Liverpool, they did beat Everton, but that, and that, <coughs> that is only Everton. But you, I mean, you'd expect Newcastle to do something here, and I will say they will. It will be Newcastle. It will be a close one. It will be one nil to it will be one to to the tsunami. And Jack, what are you saying in this? Game. And then the half five on Saturday is Newcastle against Liverpool. Now, this is a kind of an interesting one because obviously Liverpool they need results. Um, as I mentioned uh, previously in the video, get with Seymour Chelsea they need results. They're not in a position they want to be in the league. Um, you know, as I say, they'd be very lucky to even you know get a Europa League place the way they're looking at the minute. But I think with this one, I'm going to go a draw. I think Newcastle are at home, and if I was gonna, if you were, at, you know, if I was pushed to, to to pick a winner in this, I would go Newcastle. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm going to go with a two-all draw on this between Newcastle and Liverpool. I think, I think there'll be goals in this one. Uh, Liverpool are leading goals big 10 this season. Um, Newcastle actually aren't to be fair. Newcastle do not usually concede a lot of goals. But in this one, I'm going for a two-all draw, man. Newcastle against Liverpool. And we move to Manchester United versus Leicester City. Now, the last game before Casemiro is back. He's back after this game. You have missed him dearly, dearly, dearly. I mean, friends of Vince, I should say, have done a very, very good job playing the centre back for the last two games. But Casemiro is 
as Ty was saying this, you, it's not like they played Barcelona. Yes, Barcelona last night in the Camp Nou. Insane. I don't know how we'll probably be, be, be beginning for Kai, but I mean, it's only Leicester. But I mean, I can't really say that. They did beat um, Spurs 4-1, four, four so... I mean, we should have enough. 3-0, Manchester United at Old Trafford. And Jack, as a fellow Redden, what are you saying in this game, pal? Moving on to Sunday then. Obviously, ourselves, we play against Leicester at home. 2 o'clock kick-off next, uh, next Sunday. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go for a United win. We, we got a backup voice, right? We got to, especially in the former on the minute. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think we beat Leicester. We've obviously played, you know, it's, 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 it's important to note that we do play Barcelona uh, on Thursday night. So we obviously are, like we have been for a couple months now, man, you know, constantly playing games, you know, two, three games a week. So the squad depth is tested, of course, but... Um, yeah, for me, for me, it's 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 the United winning this one. Leicester, however, did are playing this game off the back of a four-one win against Spurs, so they'll come into the game with confidence. However, yeah, United win for me, man. I'm going to go with a two-one United win against Leicester. That's my prediction. And we move to the last game of the game week, which is Tottenham Hotspur versus West Ham United. Now, Tottenham. Good, did lose to Leicester, like I said, West Ham, drew to Chelsea, you'd expect Spurs to win, but I mean, with Luis out injured for two, right, for, for two months, Benjamin cut injured for the rest of the season, and they, they have no defence, they have a midfield, I do, think, I do think West Ham can put up third clock here, two on West Ham, and that will bring, and Jack, what he's saying, in this game, and that will and then finally, our last game of the of the game week is our half four kickoff on Sunday, which is Tottenham against West Ham. Um, for me, I'm going to go with a Tottenham win, uh, and I'm going to go with yet again a two one Tottenham win over West Ham. Big big thanks to Dan for getting me back on the predictions. Great to be back on me, and um, as I say, I might maybe I might get back on me again before the end of the season. Always a pleasure doing the predictions for you, Dan, and a big shout out to all the viewers obviously watching. I also want to take this moment to uh, congratulate Dan. Obviously, he's recently hit 200 subscribers on his channel, so big big congratulations, Dan. Um, 200 hit mate, on to 300 now. Keep the grind going. Um, content is brilliant, and um, yeah, man, appreciate appreciate everyone watching. Appreciate Dan Dan getting me on. And uh, yeah, until next time, boys. See you all soon. Week, gaming 24 to an end. Thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all on the next champion. No, it'll be a Premier League because it'll, be, it'll be a Premier League one. Or it, no, it, or it might be the second legs of the Europa League. I'm not sure, but I'll let you know. If not, I'll see you all until. Peace out.